um, hello everyone so in this video I'm gonna do an example from a discrete random variable so it is chapter 3 and this is problem 3.8.1 so in this uh, problem we have an experiment to monitor two packets and we have the PMF of n which is the number of video packets as described below so here is the PMF that we have so we have n and the PMF. So our n can be either 0, 1, or 2. And the PMF is 0 0.2, 0 0.7, and 0 0.1. So what we have to find here is the expected value of n, the expected value of n squared, the variance of n, and the standard deviation of, I'm sorry, the standard deviation of n. So let's start from the expected value of n. So we know that in a discrete random variable, if we want to find the expected value of the random variable, we have to find the sum of that random variable in which we have n over here, pn of n, over all the n's that I have. Right, so here it is from uh, 0, 1, and 2. So that would be first n is 0, that is multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.7 and 2 multiplied by 0 0.1. So here we're going to have 0 0.9 as our expected value. So we found the expected value. We're going to go through finding the expected value of n squared. So when we have the expected value of n squared, when we want to find the expected value of n squared, we know that we have to find the sum of n squared pn of n. Why is that? Because this n squared is technically g of n. And we know that the expected value of g of n is the sum of g of n multiplied by pn of n. So the difference between this one and expected value is that every time that I want to use n, I have to use n squared instead. So I'm going to have 0 multiplied by 0 0.2. 1 squared is 1. So we're going to have 1, 0 0.7. Plus 2 is my n, but I have to square it. So that would be 4 multiplied by 0 0.1. And I'm going to end up with 1.1. So here I have the expected value of n squared. So we know that the variance of n is equal to the expected value of n squared minus the expected value of n quantity squared. And that would be 1.1 for expected value of n squared as we found minus the expected value of n which is 0 0.9 quantity squared. So we're going to end up with 0 0.29 as the variance of n. And the last step, it asks for um, the standard deviation of n. So we know that the standard deviation of n is equal to the square root of variance of n. And that would be the square root of 0 0.29. All right, so this was an example of a discrete random variable in which we had the PMF and we were asked to find the variance, the expected value of n, expected value of n squared, and the standard deviation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.